This is Kaimana Eye. Um, so, I don't know if I should spoil it. Do you guys think I should yeah. spoil it? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Um, read, read volume 18 right. and 19 of the manga from this right. to find out about her. Yeah. So, uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but she's important. Although, if you're here for the thing, I already spoiled it anyway, so I guess it's better. So, I'm really sorry. Probably should have You should spoil it again then. Okay. <laughs> the, did anyone who saw that clip like, not know who she really was? I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I guess I sorry. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I was like, I don't want to take one from the whole. Like, I think it's important, especially since I'm going to be talking about Octopsin later. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. I should have uh, checked my... I, I, I looked at the clip and I was like, hey, this is a good clip. And I was like, wait a minute, I was watching the game here. Okay. Um, I'm going to gloss over that for now. All right, um, this is, this is uh, Agasa, Agasa Hakase, uh, Professor Agasa. He creates all the random gadgets that Conan uses. Um, he's also kind of like the mentor, protector, father, surrogate father, because his dad is never there. Um, this is Hakuba and Nakamori. They're kind of detectives who are chasing after a kind of kid. They're not, they're, they're important, but they're not really that important, I guess. <laughs> um, these three are bad guys. They're from the Black Organization, which uh, I'll, I guess I'll talk about a little more. There's um, Jin, Vodka, and Ruin. Uh, these are Chi parents. These are detectives. All of, uh, with all of the are detectives. These are two detectives who are in love each other, but also won't admit it because, again, Aoyama Gosho is not very creative with his uh, relationships. Um, so Soko, who is Brad's best friend, who is kind of stupid, and <laughs> she's a detective, but she's really not. Um, Makoto, who is her boyfriend, and also they kind of don't. Well, they're they're more open about it than other people, so that's good. Yay, good for them. Um, and then uh, this is Eri Kisaki or. She's um, actually Kogono's wife, but they're separated because they can't stand each other, but they really love each other because, again, they like love each other, but they can't do it. Yeah. Um, and these three, I don't think I can say without spoiling the series. So I'm going to be careful about spoilers from now on. But yeah, so that's like kind of a prime. And I'm sure most people in here already know who um, a lot of them are, although, I mean, it depends on where you are in the market. Uh, one of the nice things about Kanan is that it has a really huge cast of characters and all the really diverse. And, um, as you keep reading the manga, the characters keep getting added, and they're all, they have, most of them still have some importance. Where, so you do, so if, if a character shows up like multiple times, it's probably not gonna end up being like a throwaway character. And uh, a lot of them you'll end up like caring about what they do, I guess. Okay, so characters are done. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what its, what its popularity status is in Japan. Um, so I think uh, a lot of people don't really um, it's, it's a little harder to tell how popular it is if you're in the States because it's not really that popular here at all. Yeah, um, I mean, because like, Case Closed, which is the American version, well, I'm sure you all know that, but like, Case Closed, like, it got pulled and stuff, it's ratings weren't that good. Um, but in Japan, it's a, a, a bit more popular. So I'm, I actually have like, um, if you ever go on Anime News Network and you like see the statistics of like what the, um, like what, what shows are popular each week and stuff, uh, actually, does anyone like have any guesses as to if, if you already know? Don't don't raise your hand. But like, what what what, what do you guys think are like the most popular series in the right now? Like, uh, yeah. Rakugo or Okay, that's a those are two guesses. Are there any other guesses? One Piece. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a that's a good guess. What else? Yeah. Dragon Ball. Uh huh. Right. What about yeah here? Uh huh. And then here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are there any other guesses? Yeah. Well, there's, let's see, I, I read them in terms of ratings. The Conan has one of higher ratings every week, and then there's usually like, right. the kid shows like Chibi Maruga-chan, Saizizan, and Doraemon. And then, of course, you got Conan, they got Pokemon, right. one piece right. of stuff there. All right, what about here? Okay. All right, so actually, surprise, surprise, the most popular anime in Japan are not Dragon Ball. Well, Dragon Ball is, but uh, not Naruto, <laughs> not really Bleach, not really Death Note, not really Lucky Star. Um, as he was saying, actually. So the number one is Sazaya-san, which has been running for like 30 years, and it has like it's it's pretty much like The Simpsons of Japan, but it's not crude and uh, it's like a family show. Um, so household ratings is basically like what percentage of the population is watching this. So one fifth of the Japanese population is watching Sazaya-san. Um, what's kind of interesting about it is it's one of the only anime that's completely hand drawn. Um, then next is Chibi Maruko chan and Crayon Shin chan which is totally different from the Shin chan that you watch on Adult Swim. Like they're not the same at all. So if you think 
like, oh my god, I can't believe little kids are watching that in Japan. I mean, it's still bad, but it's not that bad. There's nothing about, like, bad addicts. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, although there are still a lot of bad things. Um, after that is Doraemon, and then Detecticonon is probably about eight. Like, these uh, average household ratings are kind of iffy because they obviously they change every week and they depend on a lot of different factors. Um, the closest one that people got, I guess, was One Piece, which is, um, has about a, an average household rating of 7%. Um, nowadays, these, these rankings aren't exactly accurate anymore, but I still wanted to use them because uh, Dragon Ball Kai came out, and that's currently ranking probably better than Detecticonon is. Uh, because there's a lot of people who watched it before and they haven't been nostalgic trip and then there's like the new kids who are watching it. Yeah? Brotherhood has made some kind of a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh yeah. Um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I think the last time I saw the rating, it was, pop it was, it was definitely high for a, for a sort of a more adult oriented show, mm -hmm. but um, it's probably around like 10th to 12th place, so it's still not like, like that high. Uh-huh, yeah? Oh, um, Anime News Network actually pulls them from the data in Japan. So, right, so a lot of people, because we're all otaku here, we all think like, since we see all the Bleach and Naruto cosplayers everywhere, we're like, oh, these must be the most popular series. But they're probably the most popular in America, not so much in Japan. Um, yeah, so that, that's ironic this, in a way. Uh, Don't you think that's kind of ironic in a way? Yeah, it is kind of, but at the same time, um, if you consider anime versus if you consider like cartoons in general, so like in Japan, this is, these are Japanese cartoons, but they're not necessarily seeing it as like this geeky otaku culture. Um, if you, you'll notice that the, the first four, well, the first one is a family show, and the next three are really like kid-oriented shows. Um, so I mean, these are these are like kind of like your Saturday morning kind of shows. Although I think these actually run close to prime time, um, most of them, but then they also have reruns at other times. Um, like, Shiba Maruko-chan, Crayon Shin-chan, and Doraemon are like pretty big cultural icons in Japan. Um, like, Doraemon was recently, was recently called to be like the cultural ambassador of Japan because it's going and making kids in other countries love Japan, so they won't hate Japan or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that, so if, if you consider these, um, and you consider that these are like cartoons that, are, that kids are watching, um, it's actually kind of impressive that Detective Conan still ranks that high because um, if, if you'll notice, like, you probably can't tell from these, but like the first four, they're very simple art styles. They're things that your like moms will probably watch with their kids and things like that. So um, it makes sense for them to be really, um, really popular. But then you look at like Detective Conan, um, and then One Piece to some extent. But the characters are a little more realistic. They're a lot more adult characters that are, uh, I guess, a little more advisable than. Um, say the mom and dad from Crayon Chin Chan. Um, and then even below One Piece, you have Pokemon, you have Pretty Cure, which is the Magical Girl series that all the little girls are into. Um, and these are like kid shows. So these two are, One Piece is arguably kind of a, a kid, preteen, teenager show. But these two are getting sandwiched by all these kid shows. So it's kind of ironic that um, they're so popular. And of course, a lot of people are going to say, well, Detective Conan is pretty much a kid's show, right? I mean, the main character is freaking seven years old, and he goes around with his little friends, and like, he shoots his little, yes. Yeah, Stun gun. So, um, if we actually, so that, so it, it's, a, it's a little kind of confusing there, but if you actually look at the, uh, uh, oh, so I, I should probably say, um, right now, Detective Conan is kind of, it's, it's definitely, I, I, I would argue that it's not at the cultural icon status that, say, Astro Boy or Tetsuwan Adam, um, or Doraemon are, like, um, they're not, I guess, ingrained in the Japanese subconscious or anything like that yet. Um, but I, I would say that it's probably getting there. Um, there's not really any evidence for that. I guess it's more like a gut feeling, but uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Take, take that as you will, with a grain of salt. 